Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a technique I used to create a makeshift rig for this beholder's eye stocks. This allowed me to work non-destructively, giving me control over many animatable elements throughout the entire process. I prepared the beholder's smaller cousin, the gazer, to walk you through it. Step 1. File setup. Make sure whatever you want to be at the end of your appendage is all packed in its own group. This includes various bits and pieces you still want to have control over as layers and groups nested within, such as eyelids, eye controls, etc. Whatever you'll be bending and using as the arm, leg, or tentacle needs to be compressed to a single layer. Make sure both the group and layer are how you would like the position for your first frame of animation. Step 2. Animate the group that will be at the end of the appendage however you like via transform keys. I puppeteered the eyeballs in this case by pressing the enable recording button and grabbing my group's transform while the animation played. Step 3. Orient yourself in a comfortable spot where you can grab the end of the appendage closest to the group you just animated and remain still while you ride along. Step 4. Add a spawn area into the animated group. Go into its settings by tapping the spawn area layer icon and check set as initial spawn area. Finally, click preview viewpoint during playback to allow yourself to ride the puppeteer group. If you press play, you should be moving with your animated piece. Motion sickness warning. Step 5. Select the layer containing the appendage you'll be affixing to the group. Hold left trigger and up on the joystick to duplicate a number of frames equal to the length of time the animation of your group takes. This sets us up to record with the grab tool. Step 6. Go to the spawn area we added previously and click its options. Click Preview Spawn Area. This will adjust our position since the next step requires size and scale to be consistent. Step 7. Using the grab tool, adjust the tool's size and tool falloff radius to have your desired amount of influence in the layer you'll be animating. For the gazer, I wanted to grab the eye stock and the warts attached, but leave the base where it connects to the body alone. Step 8. Once again, ensure you are in position to record by going back to the spawn area we added settings and clicking preview spawn area, as we are about to record. Step 9. Ensure preview viewpoint during playback is checked and you have your layer you wish to stretch and grab selected not your group. Position your touch controller where you'd like to grab your layer from, press the trigger to grab, and press the left thumbstick down to play the animation and record. It is very important to remain still during this part, as moving can lead to your parts not aligning. Step 10. Once the playback stops, uncheck preview viewpoint during playback and view your animation. If all worked out, your appendage should be moving fluidly with many of your group's controllable options still intact. If it didn't turn out as you intended, maybe you moved a bit, maybe the grab tool didn't work as you'd hoped, it may mean going back and trying again. However, if it did work out, from here you can continue on animating the smaller details and other controls you've included with your group. There you have it. This process can be applied to a bunch of things though, not just eye socks. Hands with complicated machinery, things that loop such as like a drill on the end of an arm, all kinds of things. Jump in, try it out.